Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 7, which uh, comes with Google Android software, but right now we're running Ubuntu Touch Preview. Now, this is a new build of Ubuntu Touch that actually has a couple more working applications than earlier builds. So, as of uh, sort of mid April, they released a version that is still mostly sort of a test bed, just lets you sort of see how Ubuntu works. For instance, when you uh, look down here, it comes with these notifications already preloaded. So um, you can see how notifications look, see how you can dismiss them, but um, it says that we've got notifications from Facebook and Skype and email, and I don't actually know who these people are. Those are fake notifications. Likewise, um, if you look through here at your featured music and uh, uh, oops, we just switched apps, uh, videos, and other things. Um, they're not actual working items. So I can try and hit play. Oh, I think it actually might be trying to play this, but I think it's going to do it in a web browser. Okay, so we've actually got a video player running, so that's newish. And something I hadn't noticed a few minutes ago. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So we've got the working video player, but then if you go in here and say that you want to rent a video, you press the button, and it just doesn't let you do it. So um, still pretty basic, but like I said, there's a couple of things that do work and uh, work a little bit better than uh, in previous builds. So for instance, if we go to the home screen, so here's featured apps. Previously, I was swiping that way. Okay, so um, I was having a little bit of difficulty navigating, but here you can see that we've got a calculator app. In previous builds, when you open the calculator app, it wouldn't actually give you a working calculator, it just give you a picture of a calculator. Um, Okay, so here we've got a list of running applications. The uh, calendar app also seems to work now, although it's a little bit rough around the edges. I've noticed that, for instance, when I try to uh, create an appointment, sometimes the uh, keyboard doesn't work the way I would like it to. So, uh, fake. Appointment. Yeah, so I'm not sure what I did there, but I went up with fake app instead of fake appointment. Um, so, uh, you know, it's it's not perfect, but it does sort of work. Uh, the web browser works pretty nicely. You can swipe up from the bottom here to get a URL page. Or a URL bar. Search for Google, go to Google. Again, the keyboard its a little tricky to use sometimes. Not really sure what's happening here. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's sort of what that looks like. Um, so the web browser works, the calculator works, there are a lot of other applications that don't work very well yet, especially on this particular model. The uh, camera, for instance, it's not just a picture of a camera application. You can see that you can actually switch camera modes, you should be able to switch between cameras, but right now it doesn't actually work. Uh, this build is also based on Ubuntu 13.04 Raring Ringtail, so that's new, um, but it looks a lot like the uh, Ubuntu 12.10 version that we saw previously. So. Um, and then uh, many of the apps that you get here are actually basically just web apps. So if I wanted to open the Gmail application, for instance, it's going to take me to the uh, web site to log into my Gmail account. So we're going to start to see more applications in the future as developers make them available to Canonical, and Canonical includes them in here, and more core apps uh, such as uh, file browser, weather application, and so forth. Um, 
So we're getting to the point where Ubuntu is actually starting to be a little bit more usable on mobile devices. It's, uh, it's still very much a work in progress. Um, there are no phones shipping with Ubuntu Touch OS as of April uh, 2013, but later this year we should start to see some. And in the meantime, if you want to help kick the tires uh, and test things out and submit bug reports and so forth, you can do that by downloading a pre-release build on your device. Um, official builds available for uh, Google Nexus devices, and we should start to see, uh, and there are unofficial builds available for dozens of other phones and tablets. So that's what Ubuntu looks like on the Google Nexus 7 as of mid-April uh, 2013. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.